The Leo, first step Leo, on. I like your, uh, I like you, but I disagree with uh, no systemic racism. It, it, there's systemic racism all over. It depends who is in fact in power. If it's a young black Christian that in fact wants to to aspire uh, to be better, to rise up, uh, to be Christ-like, then in fact even blacks in his own community will set him up in hustles and try to ruin his name and gossip. And they, uh, Satan and his fellow blacks hate blacks because they're made in the image of God. But in fact, they'll use local laws and state laws against uh, that very Christian. Um, there is systemic. Tell me about this. Why, in fact, would people on uh, Section 8, right? Why and why would we be forced, or I'm in the shoes of a black person, on, why would I be forced to live in a thug-ridden, drug-ridden, um, case-catching hood saying, in fact, I can only get Section 8 if I go live with the brothers, right? Why, in fact, can't I use that money and liquidate that money to, in fact, wherever I can afford a house? Why does the government, in fact, want to put um, all blacks together in low-income, thug, drug uh, neighborhoods, right? Why is that? Isn't that somewhat uh, systemic racism? And systemic racism is not on one side. If we look at systemic racism, then in fact, every time that the NAACP sits there and uh, denounces a woman that can add such beauty to the black causes because she loves the black culture, but in fact is called out by the world because they say, well, you actually have white grandparents and white parents and you can't serve in any capacity in furthering blacks and furthering blacks because you're white. Well, that's systemic racism. I have a black niece. I know nothing about her. They don't let me talk to her but I love her. And in fact, I know that I could be the NAACP president and do a way better job than the current NAAC president as I speak. Now, again, there's systemic racism all over the place, but it just, it's not when Trump is in power, the blacks feel the racism by their local governments, and they simply point a finger at the racist Trump as uh, uh, people of black Christians are persecuted by satanic governors and local leaders, and they just point the finger, oh, it's the president doing it. Um, that's what Satan does. He, uh, he gets people looking at the wrong person uh, the wrong, uh, uh, the wrong target. But in fact, if we want to empower our young black girls and boys, we'll teach them that somebody that's a skinhead may love you more than you know. And he's not automatically your enemy because he has different political stances. But in fact, uh, Satan that works through all of mankind is the real enemy. And in fact, God is the real hero and it depends on what you do in this life to surrender to God all the areas of your life. So therefore God can work all the way through you in every area of your life. Remember, if you uh, want God in your finances, well, you have to prove to God uh, that in fact you put God first and give 10% of your money to God, right? If, if it's sex life, right? You have to surrender to God's will. Don't have sex out of wedlock. And if you do have sex out of wedlock, go to God about it. 
confess it, don't hide it, and ask him to forgive you and believe that he will forgive you and move on, move on and, and try your best not to do it again. They have to know the real enemy in this life and it's Satan and demons in the kingdom of darkness working through people, even the people in your own households.